Hey y'all, we're jumping right in. As you can see, we've already done one nail. I'm just showing you the colors right now. I'll put the colors linked in the description below. Um, yeah, we already got one nail done as a tester to see if I liked it. And we're going to start with the Virgo and Jim base coat across the other nails. She's already basically cleaned them up. Um, so they're ready to rock and roll. And that is my natural nail, by the way. So. I've grown them out pretty long. I'll end up cutting them back afterwards. But yeah, she's just starting with that base coat. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy for my wife. She's done this collaboration and she's really worked hard to get this through and put this together. So I'm so very proud of her. This collab for this breast cancer awareness. And this is the nails we've done on my nails. Um, the color we've done on my nails. So two-tone pink, like a French tip style almost. Since this video, I've got her some new cups too just for getting that polish in there nice and neat. So we're ecstatic and we're going to do an ombre pink so she's just mixing it back and forth right now making sure it looks nice and neat um, as far as my my backstory with um, breast cancer breast cancer awareness is I'm a big supporter of it uh, we have a local run around here called the Liz Hurley uh, run 5k um, I ran it a couple times um, this year was a virtual run so I'm going to be end up doing that uh, my very first one was a few years ago, my first 5k ever in fact I ran. I ran in, in support of my wife's mom who is a breast cancer survivor and that was a lot of fun. I, in fact I, I had a support for her and pictures and I ended up running that in like 25 and a half minutes. My, so it ends up being like 3.25, 3.2 miles if you're not aware of how long a 5k is. My first like mile was done in like 4 minutes. Very proud of myself for my first 5k. Um, and then also I've done, um, another one with my friends that was affected and is also a breast cancer survivor, um, who actually does drag, female drag is, is amazing. Um, she's actually the one that got me into doing my first drag performance and really pushed me to say, Hey, go do this and you need to, you, I think you'd have a lot of fun. So appreciate her very much um, but yeah she's a survivor and a very strong person too yeah we're just going through it um like I said we had fun doing this so she can only not only do it on her nails she can do it on mine too so she gets double the practice whenever she wants um, it's about time to uh, redo my other hand so I'm excited for that see what we can come up with color wise I don't know if we're going to do a Halloween one or not but at the time of this we I have a purple hand also and because purple is my favorite color um, but it's pretty if it's this week this month also for because this month is also technically domestic violence awareness month so um, pretty two awesome um, awareness months together in one so it's pretty cool but yeah um, and she told me to tell everybody and it's very true don't forget to get your mammograms um, male or female if you if you've got a history especially if you've got a history of it. it may not be the most comfortable thing in the world but it's it's a you don't want to take any chances it's always a safe thing to do you know risk versus reward beat the probability save yourself a heartache you know there's a heartache in the future so Now I will say I liked how these the second edition turned out. I ended I ended up did getting her a different brush for the um, applying the ombre effect. So for this, because the first one we had a different brush for the one color and then the other, and it just it wasn't as friendly of a brush. So we we updated brushes. One of my old makeup brushes. Like I said, if you're not aware, I am a drag queen. She loves it. I love it. I've actually started teaching myself makeup back in 2019. So beginning of it, you know, dabbled here and there, but I really dived into it then. And since then, I've have, have fun. So if you want to check out some of my videos, I on my page, I do getting ready with me. I've got um, so me doing my makeup usually um, before 
Um, I either go out to perform or I do my live streams because I live stream my video games because I'm a gamer also. Um, yeah, look at that color. Yeah, it's just pretty. But yeah, I'm a live streamer, so you can follow me at on my YouTube channel, Neve Steel. You can follow me at Neve.steel on Instagram, on YouTube. Well, YouTube is this, and then uh, if you want to follow me on my Twitch, actually, it's um, twitch.tv forward slash Neve Steel. And she's going off cleaning them up, making sure getting all the excess off. That lovely brush. She got me one of those also. I just use that for fun. I don't use it for anything in particular. I don't want to ruin it with makeup. Mine's more of a rose gold color brush. Just pro. Back to it. I like a deep, deep color and a deep sparkle, so. Tap, 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 tap. I'm usually the one sitting there chilling while she does it, while probably on my phone or doing something. Watching some video or playing a game while she does these. She does them. I, cause I, like I said, I like my natural nail. Um, I'm cleaning it up. That little that nifty little tool of hers. Make sure she gets all that excess off the edge so it doesn't, you know adhere to my skin then end up pulling itself off or doing something funky and yeah we're just going back over it so I'm gonna pause here speed this up a little bit but if you have any questions comments or below don't forget to post ask Ask away if you have something you want to see makeup wise, let me know and I'll do that also. I'm going to pause here and speed this up for a moment. Right here, we're actually going to do the uh, clear powder dip, um, give it that to protect the color and everything. So, and then we're going to turn around and activate that. As she, right now, she's just cleaning it up, and really, you know, so that way we get something to file down and make it nice and smooth. So that's a nice, you know, if you don't want to forget that step because you want to, you want to protect any of that sparkle or shimmer that you want to keep in there. 
that's a very vital part of any any nail dip. Just going over that with that that clear powder dip coat. Really give your your coating a nice glow to it. And that's where I get my, a lot of my compliments. Alright, it's time to activate using the Virgo and Gem activator. Seal the deal on these nails. Get these nice and activated so they'll harden up so that way we can work with them and file them down and make them nice and smooth. Nobody likes rough nails. And she does actually two coats of this, so to make sure it gets it penetrates through the, all the layers of the powder dip and it's, secures that entire nail. Tell you what, I, I've never been proud of she works her butt off doing these videos and uh, she's really pushed herself out of the comfort zone of recording this, getting stuff off social media, and getting her page off the her, her YouTube channel off the ground. I'm um, so proud of my wife doing all this and learning this and it's been amazing to watch her grow in this and do something she really really enjoys and so when she told me she was putting together this collab I was like thoroughly impressed because knowing my wife it, it wasn't easy but man it makes a husband proud when you, you, you she, they, like I said, she steps out of her comfort zone and she did this. It was, she's learned a lot. I tell you that much. She has learned a lot. And it's to other nail artists on this channel that have helped her grow and become who she is, and really learn a lot. So I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. And thank you for all your friends out there. Now we're gonna wait the two minutes, and next, off to the um, model. Um, gel, uh, gel top coat. Make this sucker shiny. She's very gentle here. She wants to make sure it doesn't spill over the edges. It's nice and capped, and she's very particular about it it goes in cleans it up so she wants to make sure it looks good 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 <laughs>
So what we're doing here is we're going back in with the Model 1's um, top coat. Um, we're actually going to be putting gems on these. On this, this particular finger it ends up being three gems. In, and it turns out, in my opinion, it was gorgeous. Um, little insight. So uh, one of my friends in the drag community, she actually nicknamed me Barbie Boy. Um, and then I actually, one of the the um, mashups I do when I perform and one of my favorites to do is a mashup of the beginning of Aqua's Barbie Girl and then Ava's Not Your Barbie Girl for the rest of it and yeah I mean I'm I mean I'm a 5 foot 9 133 pound drag queen so I'm mildly you know, medium height and skinny, fit, but so that's why they nicknamed me that. And then I, obviously I look gorgeous. Not to toot my own horn, but yeah, yeah I'm tooting my own horn. <laughs> no, we have a lot of fun out there, and I tell you what, I've never, you know, it's a pretty tight community. Um, obviously, everywhere they go, there's always going to be drama, but that's in family, friends, and everybody, but yeah, I, that family right there is something else in itself. And don't think that if you're interested in it, um, drag it all. Just go out and watch it. Watch it on, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm sure you all seen it. But not only females or men can do female drag queen. You know, it's ma makeup and drag is an art. It's not a, it's not a sexuality. It's not anything like that. It's, it's literally just art. It's a make style of makeup art. And men can become drag queens they can do drag queen i've got friends that are guys that do drag king um they're just performance it's performance art uh same thing goes for females females can do drag king they can do drag queen and it's you know it's different layers of performance art and in that my community and every community i've run into it's accepted because you know it's one fan so you're interested you want to give it a shot go right ahead have fun and you know hey do a talent show some nights uh, it's 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 it ends up being a lot of fun you can have a lot of fun doing it and you get up there and lip sync you don't have to actually sync so again you know like this 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 video is for you know breast cancer awareness and don't forget again get your mammograms it can affect m male females you know, so nobody's immune. We're just going back over the Model 1's um, clear glossy coat again um, just to make sure we're sealing it in. I don't mind my nails being a little bit thicker. In fact, I like them because I, I work outside. I work hard and I'm hand up hard on my hands. So, um, and my nails, so a lot of times with doing my own repairs on my motorcycle. So, I, I like them, my nails a little bit thicker. I don't mind that. Um, yeah, she's just going in being particular and Put a nice little top coat on that again and as you can see the chins are right there they're sparkling and shiny and and i want to thank you all for tuning in again don't forget to like and subscribe share whatever the case may be hit that little bell for alerts if when if and when i do get to post videos more than likely there'll be makeup videos or video game vi videos so if you're into video games or if you're into nails you're into makeup subscribe to my channel if there's something you want to see or something you want to review to makeup wise I'll do my best to review it um, if I have it if not then I'll see about if it's possible for me to get it um, I'm not a makeup professional makeup artist by any means but I do love doing makeup and if I don't know the answers I will help you out and find help you find the answers but thank you all for tuning in. We'll let this video finish up, let you enjoy it, and you have a great rest of your day.